Hello and welcome to Evergreen Park. For many of you this may be an introduction to Evergreen Park because this quiet neighborhood there's oftentimes not many homes for sale and for most people they're surprised to see this beautiful neighborhood exist. Evergreen Park is bounded by California Avenue on one side so you have all the shops and restaurants on one side and also by El Camino as well. So it's actually very central within Palo Alto and offers walking to restaurants on California Avenue. But other big pluses of Evergreen Park are that you have some nice homes and a lot of new construction. The reason for the new construction is that Evergreen Park has some pretty large lots. Generally they're 50 by 150 or 7,500 square feet. So you're getting a lot of new construction on the larger lots and even more new construction than neighboring College Terrace. And also you have some beautiful tree-lined streets and Pierce Park, a very large park, is at the end of Evergreen Park. So a lot of attributes make this a great neighborhood. And when I introduce clients to it, they're usually taken by it and pleasantly surprised to see that this beautiful neighborhood exists without them knowing about it. Schools within Evergreen Park are Escondido Elementary, which is actually a great school in its own right, but also has a Spanish immersion program where your children, um, it's a lottery system, but if they're entered into it, they learn Spanish as well as English throughout. So that's very popular. And also Jordan Middle School and Palto High. Evergreen Park, I think, has above average appreciation if you can get in, if we can find a home for sale, because it's outside of the flood zone, so people are building basements, and also it has a park, the great restaurants of California Avenue, which now has its farmer's market. So many pluses to Evergreen Park. It's a secret that I'm looking forward to discovering together. Thank you.